guys, welcome back to another episode of Yakuza 3. It's your boy Kyogre Gaming, and you know how we do things around here. We are still trying to finish off some sub stories up in here, so um, without further ado, I do believe I am going to edit to the next point of interest already. This Shisa looks a lot like the one in the couple's photo. Better give those two a call. I mean, yeah, it's the third time I'm calling you guys, so please. So, you say you found the she sent the photo? Yeah, over there. Oh my goodness, that's it? It's the spitting image of the one we have at home. To find it here of all places. Don't you feel a little sorry for it? It's been searching for its partner this whole time. Well, why don't we ask these people if they'll let us buy it? Thank you so much. It's not a whole lot, but please, take this. Alright, thanks. I'm, I need the money after buying that fucking fish. Now our host is properly protected. I hope we can stay as close as these two crazy creatures. Close enough to welcome a new little creature into our lives. Maybe next year? You don't mean... A baby? Then... I guess all three of us will have to come back to Okinawa for a family trip! Well done, guys. Neat. Phenomenal. Next! Oh, here we go again. Hey, where the fuck do you think you're going, buddy? Yo, Pops! Look at what you did! This smartass thinks we're gonna let him fuck around with us? Huh. You guys are in a good mood. Why, if it isn't our old friend? We might have left you off easy before, but no such luck this time, asswipe! Oh man, Aniki is her bad. The fuck are you gonna do about this? Hmm? Are you alright, Aniki? Don't worry, we got you. Just tell us where it hurts. You gonna kiss the boo-boo? <gasps> I broke my leg. I can't walk. Ooh, looks like a... What are you doing? Looks like a compound fracture. Aniki might not make it, guys. Oi. How are you gonna fix this asshole? Stop talking. You tell me. What do you want? Ah, uh, for starters, how about a hundred thousand? Nah, mm -mm. a million yen for compensation. Huh? You got a problem with that? Aniki here is a world-class athlete. That was his golden leg worth a hot meal. <laughs> Think you can take on this many of us? You better pay up if you know what's good for you. A million yen. <laughs> I'm sorry, motherfuckers. Why should I give you anything? He isn't even hurt. You got ball standing up to a group of muscle heads, old man. Huh? It's time you take a little swim in the Okinawan Sea. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Listen, bro. I'm gonna grab this bike. I'm gonna fuck y'all up. Get that shit out of here. What is this music? Done yet. We're sorry. We got confused again. Hey, I think getting punched helped me fix my leg. Yeah, so it's basically the same type of stuff that I did off camera last time around. This time I think there were two more of them. Really? Did you hear that, mister? You fixed his leg. Here, I hope this covers your trouble. Uh-huh. Aniki, this is not right. We can't just let him do this to us. 
Again! Dude, shut the fuck up before you piss the nice gentleman off! I can't believe this. So that's it? Ugh, this is so lame. Something wrong? No, not a thing! <laughs> okay, next. We have a question mark already. Let's go ahead and peep it. Is it him? Best not be. What? Is it in here? In the aqua sky? Uh, I think so. You know what? I ain't gonna do nothing with him. Give me that first. This just might be some form of dart activity, pool activity. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save my game. What the fuck? I'll save my game before um, entertaining these gentlemen in the in this bar. All right, I'm reloaded. Let's go. Say, you look like you can hold your own booze. How's about you and me play a drinking game? All right, all right, I accept. It's high time somebody put you in your place. Excellent, but I think you underestimate the drinking prowess of a man of real kill. So, so what kind of game are we talking about anyway? Well, the way I see it, it's no fun to just sit down and drink until we pass out. So I figured we could try a simple game of instincts. The loser drinks, sound good? What instincts exactly? I'll point either to the left or the right and you turn your head. What the fuck kind of game is this? If you face the same direction as I'm pointing, you lose. But if you face the opposite direction, you win. What? Uh, okay. Wait. Let me take a sip. I saw the shiny behind you. Which way? What the? How the fuck should I know? This is completely random. A good adventurer would go left, so I think he's gonna think along those lines. So I'm gonna go right. You can't go right with. Yeah, sucker. <laughs> what is it like? The best, best to three, or I'm gonna go. Go we right again? Should we? Should we, boys? Or should we go left? I think he's gonna suspect that I will go... Shit. It's, uh... Whew. This is rough. I think... I'm gonna turn to... Nah, left feels wrong, though. Which means... I should not trust my gut feeling. I'm gonna go left. Dude, let's not. Hmm. Um, well, I think he is going to... I think I'm gonna turn to the left again. Fuck! <laughs> hey. I'm gonna go left again. Nice! Is that enough? Yep, he looks kind of fucking wasted. <laughs> One too many. <laughs> what you got? Thanks, man. Damn. You got a legendary drinker of real kill. Oh, nice. That was really nice of you, man. I, I, I would assume that was like your tip or whatever that you just gave me. You really didn't have to do all that. But I do appreciate getting money after that fish ordeal, which I will never, ever forget. Okay, so we should have... Um... Where would it be? Is it? No. 
Is it here? Here? Maybe. I'm telling you, this necklace doesn't work at all. I see. If you haven't noticed any positive effects, then it could only mean one thing. You must have been possessed by an evil spirit. Wait, that can't be right. How is that even possible? Since you've already purchased one of our patent pending coral love necklaces, I would be willing to cleanse that spirit for you. At a special discount rate, of course. Well, not a chance. I'm never using this stupid necklace again. Sir? Do you have a minute? Yes. How may I help you? I want to talk to you about this coral necklace. Oh, of course, sir. Please step right into our office. So what is it you wanted to know about our coral love necklaces? I was told this thing would bring me luck with love and money, but is there any truth to that? Mm. Of course there is. We received countless thank you letters and emails from all over Japan. Somehow I don't buy that. Haven't your finances and romantic opportunities risen drastically since your purchase? If not, then might I suggest holding out a little while longer? You see, statistics compiled by our data analysts have shown that over 99% of our customers are completely satisfied with our product. If it is indeed a refund that you want, we'll be more than happy to assist you. But before that, I do feel obligated to tell you why you haven't noticed any of its trademark defects. Let's hear it. It's very possible that you have an evil spirit corrupting your natural energies. Huh? You mean I'm possessed? Tajima-sensei! Would you kindly come here for a moment? Hi. Why is this man wearing anal beads on his fucking... Huh? Our customer hasn't experienced any of the amazing benefits our product has to offer. Perhaps you could examine him. Ah. Then I shall begin the cleanse immediately. With our fists? Oh, he's got an evil spirit, all right. A big one, too. A sense that bears a deep hatred of love corals and questionable spiritual properties. <sighs> Return the necklace. Come on, man. Come on, come on. Let's drop the egg. I'm gonna fuck all of y'all computers up. How about that? Stop cheering, woman. Okay. Okay. You got to go. Yeah, I bet you are. Now, Miss President, tell me the truth about these necklaces. These claims you've been making are completely bogus, aren't they? <sighs> it's just as you suspected. Our CLNs don't actually possess any sort of power. We simply harvest coral from beneath the Okinawan Sea and craft it into necklaces. Tajima here hasn't really gone through any spiritual training either. We just slapped on some obscure looking anal beads on him for that extra mystical touch. Please, don't send me to the afterlife. I'm begging you. So basically, just a couple of scam artists, huh? I should have known. 
Please take this. It's the purchase price of your necklace, along with some money for all the trouble we've caused. Uh-huh. I hope you can find it in your heart to keep this under wraps. It may seem like a swindle to you, but this necklace was originally meant to give people hope and lift their spirits. We've had so many customers tell us it's given them the courage to express their feelings of love to someone or help them get through the day at work. Please don't take that magic away from them. Well, it's up to the individual if they want to believe a stupid story about sponge type creature scrubbed off the ocean floor. But you need to stop forcing shops to lie. But if we do that, none of these will sell and our business would sink to the bottom of the sea. That's where it belongs. Then focus on the quality of your product, motherfucker. If you sell it honestly without making false claims, you shouldn't have to dole out any refunds, dummy. So long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Next. We have another question mark already. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's y'all. Ah. Uh. Sa, sa. Golden egg was supposed to be super tasty. I heard my mom talking to all her friends about it. <laughs> agu? You mean pork, right? I never heard of any golden agu before. <laughs> they say it'll make you beautiful if you eat enough. It's chock full of collagen, which makes your skin brighter and healthier, sa, too. Sa. And I even heard it helps you lose weight since it has some kind of fat burning nutrients. <laughs> Maybe they're selling it at the public markets. They got pretty much everything there. Well, let's take a look. Pork that makes you beautiful just by eating it? That golden agu sure must be something. How does one get into... There we go. Okay, where? Doesn't say. Do you see them? I don't. Here? I know. Uh huh. Is that. That looks pretty golden to me. <gasps> eh. Hmm. Okay. Flawless. Northeast of a club called Flawless. Okay. Well, let's take a look. Hmm. Let's see. This should be it. Northeast of Flawless. Let's see. Let's pay him a visit. Excuse me, I want to ask you some things about the golden agar you've been selling. Mm -hmm. Who let you in here? And what in the hell is this golden agar you speak of? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Please leave the premises, please. Hey, boss, we got the golden agar shipment. <laughs> uh huh. Hmm. You absolute fuckwit. Do you not know how to close your mouth when outsiders are around? Yeah. Come on, boss. Isn't this the new guy? I mean, he sure doesn't look like he's on... <laughs> Come on. Ah. <laughs> uh. Wow. He's Yakuza?
Can we? Yeah, you're gonna get fucked now. Hello? Mm-hmm. I just couldn't help myself. I don't know if there's such a thing. Now answer my question. What's the deal with this golden agu pork I keep hearing about? Do I need to spell it out for you? Golden agu is a sham, my friend. I ain't your friend. We buy the pork cheap from China and Australia, then we roast or glaze it so no one knows the difference, yeah, man? Selling this shit on the internet with a flash of brand name rakes in 10 times the profit. So that's what this is about. Yeah, and now that you know, how about laying off, huh? After all, suckers deserve what they get. What a filthy, filthy man you are. You ought to be ashamed of your goddamn self. Local Okinawans are working themselves to the bone to raise up authentic agu pork, and I won't let cowards like you sully their reputation. Oh yeah? And who the hell are you old hacks supposed to be, huh? The local chapter of Pork Patrol? <laughs> I suggest you show some respect and apologize. Maybe when pigs fly, motherfucker. When it comes to the locals who worked hard to raise their food, you better watch out. Compared to what they're capable of, what I did to you was nothing. Out with it. We want a public apology, and that's just the beginning. Mm-hmm. It's fine, man. Don't worry about it. Happy to help. Sweet. Thank you, man. I've been getting my money back. But I could have had more. I could have been near a million now. Hmm. Next. So you know what? Actually, I think we're done with everything that we can do up to this point. So I guess what I'll do is I'll call it an episode and then we'll finally, finally go to bed. <laughs> We've gone through so many sub stories, dude. It feels surreal. Anyway, next episode, we'll take care of some main storyline stuff until some more sub-stories open up to us. And then we'll take care of them accordingly, basically. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, man. I'm out of here. Love y'all and do sis.